is Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking Thursday night football, Cardinals and Seahawks. We've got a promo code. The code is DOG if you want 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Again, that code is DOG, D-O-G. So we've got a good one here. The Seahawks are favored minus three. The total is 58, a very high total on this one. Uh, probably going to see a lot of points, I would imagine. Both teams are six and three and also five and four against the spread. They've got identical records, both straight up and against the numbers. Uh, Seattle, three and one against the spread at home. Se and Arizona, three and one against the spread on the road. So a lot of similarities between these two teams. Of course, it's a divisional game, so it should be a good one. Seattle has been faltering a bit as of late. We haven't seen the normal Russell Wilson that we've been used to seeing, and his MVP odds have dropped drastically. And then you've got Kyler Murray, who just threw the most amazing Hail Mary pass at the end of that Bills game to take down the Bills at the last minute. We've got Scott Rickenbach joining us to talk this one, who has been on fire when it comes to totals. He's on a 7-0 run for his NFL top totals, and that play is on the website at picksandparlays.net. But right now we're talking about the side between the Cardinals Seahawks, Scott, who are you leaning when it comes to this Thursday night matchup? We've got a good one here for Thursday night, so it's nice to see. No NFC East teams involved, so that's always a plus in my book. So uh, for this one, I'll tell you what, that was an amazing finish, of course, with the Cardinals game, and I don't know how Arizona is going to be able to respond this week coming off what you would really have to term a miracle win. I think this is going to be a tough spot for them. It's the first road game they played in a month, and you mentioned their good ATS record uh, this season on the road, and they are three and one straight up on the road. But one thing I want to mention, the four teams they faced, nine and 29 this season. So Arizona is finally facing a tough team on the road. They're facing a Seattle team that hasn't lost at home all year. And in fact, if you look at the Seahawks' recent games, as you mentioned, they've been losing a bit. They've been on the road a bit. And the thing is, if you just took the home team in Seattle's last five games straight up, they went 5-0. and So it's whoever at home when involving the Seahawks, that's who's going to take uh, the game mo more often than not. And I believe that's going to be the case here. I think Seattle's going to get it done. They're catching Arizona at the right time to get a big win. You know, there's a little bit of value here because Arizona beat them the last time. They just met. This is a revenge game now for Seattle uh, coming off that loss at Arizona the last time they met was a very close game that really could have gone either way. And of course, the Cardinals prevailed in overtime. So I'm looking for Seattle to uh, get back on track here at home. I think they're catching Arizona at the perfect time for a big win. And yet we've got some line value because Arizona, as you mentioned, that great road record. And uh, again, bad teams, though, that they faced. 9-29 and 29 is the combined record of those teams. So this is going to be a tough one for Arizona, in my opinion. I like the Cardinals overall, but this is not a good spot for them. And I think Seattle bounces back after losing on the road. Yeah, it seems like the sports betting market is almost like the stock market, where you want to buy low and sell high. And it seems like for the Seahawks, right now their stock has plummeted a lot, as I mentioned. So usually you'd get some value on a team like the Seahawks, but they're also a very popular public team to bet on because, you know, when you have a great quarterback like Russell Wilson, I feel like the public just jumps on that. So of those slants, which do you think is the stronger one? Do you think the, the buy low? or fade the public or go with the public. Yeah, and that and and yeah, that's a tough that's a tough call, but I I agree with you as far as buying low and I think I don't think it's a trick line here. The line is only a 3, which is basically right. saying that Seattle's at home, they're favored by 3. That's normally what you would get for a home team. So I think it's it's good. It's not a trick in my opinion. And the other thing to think about is that Seattle's six wins, five of them have come by at least 5 points. All of Arizona's losses have come by at least three points this year. So I think getting that key number of three, which is another thing we're going to have to watch because this line probably will go up as the week goes on. But um, I I'm, I'm definitely feel that we've got good value here with Seattle at a short number, like you said, like the stock market, get in when it's low. And that's what I would do here. I wouldn't wait around on this one. Yeah, and then some other matchups I was looking at when it comes to this one. DK Metcalf uh, is going to be going against Patrick Peterson on the secondary and last time out, only two catches for 23 yards. So I'm wondering how much this defense can shut down DK Metcalf and the Seahawks offense. Because, 
usually nobody can really shut them down. And even that game against uh, the Cardinals, it's not like the Seahawks weren't scoring points. It just it wasn't coming from DK Metcalf, who's their number one receiver. Are there any other matchups that you'll be looking at when it comes to this one? Because um, obviously, I think Kyler Murray has the advantage because he gets to play against this terrible Seattle defense, who not only is bad, but they're also nursing a lot of injuries. Are there any other matchups you think are key here? That is a concern, but I what I like here in terms of matchups is just the just in from an overall standpoint is that the Seattle defense historically tends to play better at home. Now I know they don't have their usual crowd edge at home this time, things like that, but I think this is a, a bit of a flat spot for Arizona. Again, it's a divisional game, so they're going to be up from that standpoint. But you see teams so often when they come off a big win like that, it's just tough to replicate that same effort in the next game. And I think that uh, the other scary thing is, you were, you know, what you were talking about with that particular matchup with Metcalf, the thing is they scored all those points and he didn't even have a big game. What if he, you know, gets gets a little bit more usage in this game and puts up some big numbers? That's going to, that's got to be scary for the Cardinals defense, which again, a little overrated with their three and one road record when you consider the teams they face. I, I think this is a really tough spot for them. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our Thursday night talk. As I mentioned before, if you want Scott's top play on the total, you can head to the website at picksandparlays.net. But until then, great insight from Scott. Scott, thanks for joining us.